Well, typical Melbourne weather. We headed out to the uh, Yarra Ranges, or Mount Daniel, I should say, and um, in the hope of doing a review of the Canon 80D, my favourite camera. And uh, I brought along my trusty, my trusty old Canon 40D, which I really love. I started out with this camera, and I still enjoy taking photos with it. Now, to put it in perspective, what the uh, the idea was was to see if there's a real gap in, in improvement for the, probably the last 10 years of technology. Um, I know everyone talks about mirrorless cameras and all this, the way of the future, but I, I've tried the Sony A6000 and I, I sold it within months of having it. I think it was a piece of junk. It took great photos, but that was it. Batteries didn't last. Um, performance was really ordinary. Uh, I, I thought, you know, it overheated. It had all these other issues. But um, I believe the A66000 now, or 6600 is a lot better. Bigger battery, and I believe the overheating after so many models has been addressed. But um, anyway, having said that, um, I went back to my old Canons. I brought the ADD. I've got a 5D Mark II at home, which I use for weddings. And I think it's still just as good as any other camera today. And um, so let's just see. I'm going to take a few sample shots. Now, on each camera, I've got the... I guess on the 80D, I've got the, uh, what's it called? The Sigma 18 to 135, or 35mm, I should say, 1.8, which is an incredible pro lens. I don't care what anyone says. They've had a few reviews on, on uh, the net already, um, and a few people have commented on the, the focus issues. I, I think that's a load of crock. I think, uh, I, I really believe that uh, it's a really sharp lens, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get blurred pictures. That's, that's the bottom line. And on this 40D, I have a Tamron... 17 to 50 2.8 which is an incredible lens again um, it, it takes fantastic photos i've taken it all around the country i think i even took it this one to hawaii years ago and it took some amazing photos and i still think under the right conditions this camera is as good as any or close to any modern camera so the proof's in the pudding i'm going to put up a few samples and see what the, the difference is but i hope you enjoy this uh, review i'll, I'll just uh, say a quick a quick roundup of the specs. This particular camera has 24 megapixels uh, sensor. Uh, it has 60p or 50p uh, video recording. It has, uh, I think, how many, I forgot how many focus, dual pixel focus system, which is incredible on the Canon. The 40D is probably a little bit archaic in that respect. It's still got the old, uh, probably I think it's the old contrast or or what detection on it, but it's it's under certain conditions, it is good. And I usually use back focus buttons to get a better, a more accurate uh, uh, picture, I guess. Now the colors, everyone knows the colors are fantastic on Canons, straight out of the box. You don't have to do too much to them. Uh, white balance is great. And today on a over, over what is it? Uh, what's the? Overcast. Overcast day, thanks to my assistant there, Ann. Overcast day and perfect for photos. But if the rain holds off, we will be laughing. So let's go and check them out. Okay, so I've just done uh, a quick review of the, uh, the 40D and the 80D. The weather's been uh, against us today, so I haven't had a chance to, to really go out and do a lot more filming. The, the rains are sort of poured, stop, poured, stop, and uh, where we are at the Sky High restaurant, there's just too many people just walking by as well and with kids everywhere driving me insane, so we might just pick another location. But um, I just wanted to talk about the 40D as opposed to the 80D in summing up. I think the 40D, I think when it first came out, had uh, six and a half frames shooting per, I think it was, yeah, per second, I think, or whatever it was, which was fantastic in its day. It was really great. Like, I used it for sports photography, cycling, footy games for the kids. I did heaps of it, so it was great. Today, 
the 80D has only really got seven, seven frames a second, which it really isn't a huge improvement, really much the same. It is a lot quieter, a lot more refined, but overall, apart from the sensor size, there's not a big, big, massive you know, increase in 10 years' time. Whereas when you look at computers back 10 years ago, I think it was a, a Pentium 3 or whatever, now you've got a, an i7 computer, which is quadruple or you know, multiple, multiple times the, the, the strength of a, uh, an older computer. So I don't think the cameras have evolved that much. Um, the 40D was a good camera in its day. I think it was fantastic. Clean images, great in low light, uh, great performer, and really good in the hand. Solidly built magnesium alloy body. So I think it's still great value. If you're starting out in photography, I think it's great if you sort of look for one of those, uh, those sort of cameras to start off with. You can pick them up for a couple of hundred bucks, which is great value. And you, you know, you've got all the Canon lenses, great color. And uh, being a 10 megapixel camera, they're very easy to edit, which is one thing people don't talk about. You buy the latest camera, everyone wants 4K, you know, video, and all of a sudden you need a, you know, a $10,000 computer to just to edit your stuff and your software. So you've got to keep all those things in mind. I think the, the Canon 40D is a great camera if you're looking to get into something, um, just photography, DSLR photography, and learn all the, you know, the buttons, the manual controls. The ADD, on the other hand, is a, is a great video and photo camera and uh, we in the right hands can produce some amazing images and i've used it for weddings i've used it for uh, functions and um, especially a lot of corporate videos and it is amazing the quality that you get out of it so uh, if you're looking to buy a, a um, say an ADD, you can pick them up i think the prices drop down uh, i think they're i think they're 1200 bucks the body and you've got the fantastic 50 mil stm lenses the 40 mil uh, stm lenses and the 2.4 if you, you know, if you want an affordable really crisp lens either one of them is fantastic so highly recommended and also the fact that you can um, you can do video on them as well and um, you know it's a it's a complete package really you can use it for corporate stuff uh, you know hobby or even if you want to get into uh, making money and doing portraits it is a great great camera so i hope you've enjoyed this so we'll put some uh, samples up on uh, on the uh, on the screen and see what you think and see if you can work out if there's a big difference talk to you later Thank you.